So I'm on my way home. And this Cynthia chick, the lead actress of Wicked or whatever, is pissing me off. But everybody's already talked about that. What really pisses me off is the progressive people who make excuses for why she's doing it. And then say, don't pretend like this is why she went off. This is the only reason why she went off. Bullcrap. Absolute bullcrap. This is a bit of a long clip, but take a listen to this clip, and it, you will be able to see why it is I, I, I call shenanigans on this whole situation. Define gravity. How about defying logic? Hey there, folks. Um, I don't remember the last time I talked, like, as a main channel video about a movie that isn't even out yet. Like, I, I've done it with sort of more broad things, like franchises. I've talked about it with, like, DC and Marvel, Doctor Who, certainly. But the last time that I've talked just about a movie that isn't even out yet, but I've still got enough thoughts to fill a video and I feel like it's worth the main channel, it's been a while. It's been quite a while. Wicked, though, the upcoming release of Wicked is really weird. It's really weird to me what they're doing. So we're going to pause right there and add a little note. Hey, it's me. Uh, during the editing of this, Wicked sort of had a whole discourse crop up around it for just the most ridiculous reason. Overblown story made short. The film star Cynthia Erivo went off on a fan-made poster, and her anger over that blew up into a multi-day story. If I'm really lucky, then by the time this video comes out, this won't really be in the conversation anymore, but knowing the internet, I doubt that's going to be the case. And if I don't address it here, it's going to eat up all the comments. You want my opinion? Here it is. Was her response overly harsh? Yes, it was. But what it really comes across as to me is the straw that broke the camel's back. This feels like something that was just the tipping point of her having to deal with, I'm sure, a hefty amount of nonsense between having to promote this thing and who knows how much racist crap that has been thrown her way. But of course, this is going to get all the headlines because this is the point where she snapped and bit back. Again, possibly at somebody who didn't deserve it. But anyone who pretends that this is just about her response to a piece of fan art is being disingenuous. And I'm sure all of us who go, well, I wouldn't snap like that. And maybe dealing in isolation, you wouldn't. But you don't know what she's been dealing with. You don't know how much crap she's been going through. You don't know how much she's had to hold down up to this point. That does not mean I am co-signing what she said. It's a bad look. But ultimately, my point is, I don't want any of this to be what this video is about. It doesn't even really feed into the points I'm eventually going to be making. Because what this video is supposed to be is about the filmmaking choices. But this crap has dominated the conversation during the time I'm editing it, and I expect still will be by the time this video comes out. But that's all I'm going to say about it. So if that's what you were here for... What? I don't buy this nonsense. Everyone wants to try to blame racism for everything when that's not even true. There's no proof of it. You're making excuses for the woman. You're making full-blown excuses for the woman. You have no proof that she's endured any racism through this. I'm not saying she hasn't. Everybody goes through racism. White people go through racism. Black people go through racism. Everybody goes through racism. But you're making excuses for the chick. Even though you're saying, I'm not co-signing on what she did. I'm not doing it. No, but you're trying to soften the blow as to why people are mad at her. I've only seen like three people say that it has to do with race. Two black people and then this white person. Everyone else with half a brain, they're all like, shut up. Has nothing to do with race. Has nothing to do with erasing you. Black people have even basically said, shut up. This is a, this is a stupid thing to be pissed off by. I thought the poster for the movie was atrocious. Like, it wasn't giving at all. The poster should have been done way better. And the fan actually cleared with the fan edit. But I just think it's so crazy that she's accusing the fan editor of removing her image and of not acknowledging that she's a real person and basically being emotional. I love Cynthia down, but I feel like she's being way too emotional when it came to this fan edit. Because As a former theater kid, I'm excited about the new Wicked movie. I will not lie. It looks good. 
as a Cynthia Erivo hater? <laughs> I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest and I feel like not a lot of black people are gonna like this or you know my fellow black people are not gonna like like me but um it was not that serious I whoa it's it, this edit I, I don't know why we're dragging it but this edit was not that serious so if black people are telling you to shut up it's not about race 